Hey, it's Dave from Bullpen Cycles, and you saw our Kove 450 rally. We've done a couple of videos on those, but I got something new today. This is the Kove MX250, and this is one of the first ones in the country. And I'm not sponsored by Kove or anything. I, I spent my own money to get this. So we're gonna put it together and see what it's like. But for starters, it's a six speed dual overhead cam 37 and a half horsepower fuel injected electric start motocross bike for $59.99 that's the MSRP now what would an RM250 or a YZ250 cost probably close to nine and hopefully it's of good quality. I think that the car bikes prove themselves for what they are, especially at that price point. We're gonna see on the MX250 and I'll probably solicit the help of a better rider so we can put it through some real world paces. My fumbling around won't do that. So let me show you what comes in the box. Basically, a shock knuckle, front axle, battery, handlebar pad uh, not sure the battery cover and a stand no instructions and I did not see a video on their website they have a video for the rally but not for the MX250 Got some help. Oh, the whole crew. Right down the coast. Yeah. What do we got here? This is Kobe. The Kobe. Kobe. So behind you is their Paris to Car Rally replica. Okay. So they ran them in the first generation. All three of the entries finished. That was last year. Now this year they ran the first generation, but now also a modified one with a different motor. And they didn't finish. But uh, $89.99 gets you a full bore rally bike that holds eight and a half gallons of gas. See, it's got three. Yeah. So now they came out with this motocross bike. And I can't really lift it out of the frame by myself without damaging it. So that's why you guys. Well, let's not do that. Young kids here needs that. Well, and yeah. I gotta put the shock. I gotta put the shock on. Oh, really? With because the rear knuckles off, and so oh. you need some lift up. You gotta lift it out and then try to get it on a stand. Gotcha. All right. Which is why I asked for some help. Oh. Coming home with me. I like things. Yeah. <laughs> it's like race bed. Hey, it's awesome. Was it that one? Uh, not right. I think the jack 
whoop. So much easier with two people. Thank you so much. Even easier yet with five. Yeah, I've never seen those in a similar magazine. Yeah. Is that something bad? Hardly, yeah. That's original, man. Yeah, that's original. Yeah, yeah. So is that kind of like the KTM like rally bikes? It's, kind of like, the, it's, like, it's like the K. No, it's not a clone. It's their own thing. Okay. So it's a Zongshen bottom end, but they developed the dual overhead cam top end for it. Okay. It's a they they built this specifically to run in the power to car. So it's not a replica bike. They make they make the standard version with this and the pro version. And I think the only real difference is the pro version has open catalytic, it doesn't have a catalytic in it. Okay. And some tuning. But if you bought KTM's rally replica, it'd be 25 grand. How much something like $89.95 is MSRP. Really? Yeah. And uh I forgot what you could say. Oh, it, it is the bike that ran. It is. They they actually and yeah. That's cool. Yeah, nine grand compared to 20. 25. I mean, yeah, that's crazy. I mean, they don't have a dealer network. I mean, they, I, I'm, I'm a dealer, but they don't even, I'm not franchised. They don't have franchise dealers, so it's all. Look, even that, you don't see them anymore. Not the Let me get some grease on the axle. You shove it in. You know that's the first thing they tell you not to do with these jacks? What? Use a gun on them? Well, that's maybe okay. that's why it doesn't... I blew a bunch of them out. You're supposed to use a ratchet. Jam. Really? I put my half and chip back up. Maybe yeah. that's what's wrong know. with it. I just shred a bunch of them. Oh, that must be a spacer in there for, because they had it bolted. So that probably comes out. So I'm guessing this goes on the other side because yep. of that lip. Yep. Do you want to throw some grease on the bowl or not? I'll do it. I'm going to make it finger tight so that lip gets engaged. Yep. It's a boat works. They build luxury yachts. You lined it's, up it's close. You're lined up. I think you had to whack it. There. There she is. All right. The rest I can do. That's the hard part. Looks like my front fender got pinched. A tiny bit right there. I guess that would buff out. Put a new sticker on it or heat it up. They'll probably stand by that. We'll see, that might be a coating to peel off. Well, I got it together and I'd be remiss if we didn't at least hear it run. What I noticed is, I think this is the same engine only with a smaller bore that's in the 450 Rally. Because all this stuff is the same. Now, the 450 Rally has an oil fill here, but it's buried by a, an extra gas tank, and there's no sight glass. I confirmed it had oil in it. Just like the 450, there's no sight glass. You gotta measure it when you change it. Let's see 
what this puppy sounds like. Circulate some oil. 